this video, I want to discuss Lil Nas' relationship with the celebrity, I use a term deliberately, celebrity, Joel Austin, masquerading as a Christian man of God. What I find interesting <clears throat> is that Joel Austin, this is not unusual for him to side up with Satanists. He did it with Lady Gaga, and he also, when he went to his son's graduation, he did the Baphomet sign, the devil sign, at his son's graduation, but he didn't stop there. His wife, Victoria, also did the devil's Baphomet sign. But wait for the shock. You think that, well, they're having fun. This is what people do. But when, when you love somebody so much, you will overlook, you will overlook the horrors of what they're into. You pretend I didn't see it, I didn't see it. Because you can't deal with it. You worship them so much. His own daughter, Joel Austin's daughter, also went to a party and did the devil's sign. They didn't make the sign of the cross. They were ashamed, they were ashamed of that. But rather they told the world, look of what we really stand for. Look what we're really into. The Bible says, by the fruit you shall know them. By the fruit, look at their behavior. Look what they promote. Look at their philosophy. Look at their teachings. But the church we have today it's not a church anymore. It's been infiltrated. It's been infiltrated by those who are into prosperity preaching, business, the universal laws of consciousness, new age Christianity, yoga Christianity, laws of attraction, and hence why Joel Austin moved with Oprah Winfrey. Good friends, Oprah Winfrey, T.D. Jakes, Joel Austin, and also Lenin, the, the, the founder of Hillsong, all come together in a witch's stew pot with Oprah Winfrey, showing what they're really about, showing how they're rebranding the face of Christianity, rebranding it. You don't recognize Christianity anymore. And the reason being, the wolves have moved into it. The wolves have taken it over and the lambs have escaped. For their dear life. So Christianity now, as an organization, is run by a pack of wolves. Anyway, this doesn't, you might say, mm, you know, maybe he's at an off season. When he went to Lady Gaga, LGBTQ nasty circus show. This nasty circus, naked people, naked, gyrating on stage. And a pastor, a man of God was there. You have no problem with your pastor going to, to, to a, a circus do with naked flesh? People dressed like Satanists and you have no problem your pastor being there there's something wrong with your spirit of discernment something seriously wrong you need to question your relationship with god and who you're really in touch with the rest continues we all know about lil nas with the, they use human blood for nike trainers real human blood this Illuminati sacrifice. You, Lil Wayne, not Lil Wayne, sorry, um, Lil Nas used um, human blood on Nike trainers. And everyone says it was a sign of sacrifice to Satan. But guess what? Wait for the shot. Joel Osteen said he supports Lil Nas. He supports him. In other words, he's saying, look, this is who I am. This is my nature. What is inside of you has to come out. 
what you think about has to manifest itself. It can't hide in you. And Joe Lustig is showing who he really is, what he stands for. But you know something? The people that bow down to him, you know, the same Christians that bow down to, um, what's his name? Who played Jesus of Nazareth? Oh, um, oh, what's it? Not Jeffrey. I know it's Jeffrey Hunter, but there's there's one who played Jesus of Nazareth, right? Oh gosh, he's an English actor. Uh, just but no, no. Oh gosh, Robert Powell, Robert Powell, and they bow down to him, you know, on Facebook, you know, showing this man, you know, they bowing down to him, mm, Lord Jesus. And I said, look, I said, this 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 isn't Jesus. He's he's an actor. He's an actor, you know, called Robert Powell, and he even played a murderer in an English drama, and he was smoking a cigarette on the cross. During the play, they were playing Jesus of Nazareth. During the break, he was smoking a cigarette, and the Christians never cared. They still bow down to this, to this actor. This is the game that they're playing. They've infiltrated it, and they pretend that they're Christians, but they're not. They're like wolves. They come in come in and, and they contaminate what is holy with lies, deceit. So even when they find out that Joel Austin is now having a relationship with Lil Nas and he says he supports it, he has no problem with it, the church don't care. You think this guy, Lady Gaga, Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey, a new age witch, now Lil Nas. Then at his son's graduation, he did the devil sign. But still, they do not want to see the truth. It makes you wonder what kind of people are supporting Joel Austin. Morgan Freeman, um, I did a video on this, Morgan Freeman um, did a documentary with Joel Austin about God and religion and Morgan Freeman who played God but is an atheist in real life said to Joel Austin your brand, your brand, your franchise of religion I can accept not Jesus Christ, your brand of religion, your brand, your God, your God consciousness, your universal consciousness, your one energy. Call it what you're like. I don't judge. <laughs> what if you got homosexuality? <laughs> I believe it's all part to God. Who am I to judge? And this is why Oprah Winfrey loves him. Because birds of a feather flock together, they recognize each other, zombies know another zombies, the dead knows another dead, and the demons know another demon, they recognize it in each other, there is no spirit of discernment in the church anymore, that's the be title for my video, there is no spirit of discernment in Christianity anymore, and the reason being, Christ is not wanted. The Shekinah has left. You preach, you preach Christ, and oh my God, they come after you. They give you death threats. Not, not the world. Christians do. Send you death threats. They want to kill you, shut you down. They unsubscribe from you if you preach Christ. But preach prosperity, business. Your relationship will be blessed. Your marriage will be blessed. You'll get your exams and favor. And they all come flocking towards you. But you can preach the truth. And what is the truth? All Jesus Christ disciples, all of them, not one was rich. They all died a martyr's death. I'm going to do another video. And I'm going to, uh, well, something I might do next week. And how to spot a pastor who's into Satanism, right? Because, but you know, to be honest, 
I've wasted my time because people don't care. Look at in Africa, Nigeria, where women are queuing up, queuing up to give the pastor a blowjob. Not even a 10 year old would fall for that garbage. Big, big grown women. Big puppy go to job, they got children, probably work in a bank, and they're queuing up to give the pastor a blowjob. You say, look, this is unscriptural, it's demonic, it's devilish, and these same people shut you down. You wonder, what's the use? Why wake people up? People want to be deceived. And that's why the government can manipulate the masses. They know how to tap into people's weaknesses and control them like a puppet. The government and pastors, they study psychology and they know how to manipulate the masses. They study your behavior, your wishes, your wants and your desires. So whenever the government come across and, and, and murder innocent babies, you, your mind is gone, you're bowing down, you don't care. Same thing with Joel Austin. The man's telling you who he is. What he stands for, but you don't care. Mm -mm, your eyes are closed. Oh, Robert Powell, Barry Knight, Robert Powell. You don't care. Your eyes are worshipping. You don't want to see the truth. You know, um, a lovely um, subscriber um, said that she and her husband was liking my video and YouTube was removing the like, right? And that many people would love my videos but what's happening youtube is being devils youtube are playing liberal games they're making sure they're removing they're removing the, the likes and they're also not making sure my videos not being shown so please if there's any videos that you like on this channel please share it because what youtube's doing right as michelle called it they're messing up you know, my algorithm. They're making sure that people can't see it because they want people to be brainwashed. They want the church to continue following the likes of Oprah Winfrey and Joel Austin. Joel Austin and T.D. Jakes. I told you, I'm going to do another video, right? And it's going to be called How to Spot Pastors Who Are Into Satanism and Are False Prophets. Right? Whether I'm wasting my energy, I don't know. But if I can wake up one person or two people, it'll be worth it. If I wake up two people, it'll be worth it. You have a pastor, I'll send it to somebody the other day, right? If, if your pastor was hanging out with Lady Gaga at her naked concert, LGBTQ, he, he did a devil's sign at his son's graduation, is a best friend of Oprah Winfrey, support, you know, um, he, he's supporting Neil Laz or Lil Naz, another satanist that says from the time he did the devil sign they'd be out she said she'd be out of there out of his church how long can you get a hammer right hit it on the nail before the wood break how long what does joel austin have to do to show the world to show the church that he's a satanist the only reason why he used the name Jesus is because he's franchised. That's how he make his business, his livelihood. He just is a franchise. Oh, I guess you're angry. It really so it's sun, Sunday today, Sunday. I've had no breakfast and I'm already worked up. You know, but a cup of coffee and that's it. it, it how human beings could, could be deceived. It, it's not even deception, right? Joel Austin is showing you who he is. All these friends are saying to this, the new age. But, but people don't care. They don't care. And the reason being, the wolves have entered into the church. The wolves, they control it. And the lamb has run out. And so too the Shekinah has left. You wonder why there's no miracles? You can't even raise the dead. You can't even open the eyes of the blind. You wonder why? Because God isn't wanted. Your circus show is a freak show. I gotta get out of here. I'm getting too angry.